This video will cover how to take a lecture that you have captured in the Rector building and upload it so students can access that particular video. To do this, you will have needed to already captured your lecture in rooms 102A, 102B, or 106 in the Rector building on the Rangeley campus. Once you have done that, you can begin the process for uploading your video. The steps for uploading your video are pretty simple. First thing you have to do is find the video on the server, log into YouTube using the CNCC credentials, tag and name your video, and then import video into D2L. All of this information in including the credentials are listed in the accompanying documentation to this video. So be sure to take a look at that to get all the information that you need. So let's begin. Here we are on a basic Windows desktop. We've already made a lecture video in the Rector building and now we are ready to upload that video to YouTube. So in order to do that, we have to find the video on the server. So I'm going to just click on this File Explorer window. It's kind of like navigating to your S drive or your I drive. Um, and I'm going to type in a new folder location. So I'm going to start with backslash backslash and then CNCC RA Web 01. Notice that it's already pulling up for me because I've already accessed it. If this is your first time, you will not see this particular uh, path appear. And then another backslash called public and I'm going to press enter. Here I am in the repository for all the videos that come out of the Rector building. Um, up here at the top we have three videos that say capture HD. They will tell you the date and the time that they were captured. You might also look at the date modified. So I know that this particular video was captured on March 30th, 2015 and uploaded at 10.42 a.m. The next one was uploaded at 12.05 and the final one was uploaded at 1.53. So it's always a good idea to know when your class ended to kind of find the appropriate video. All of the videos that are listed underneath are videos that have already been cataloged and named. So you don't usually have to concern yourself with these videos. So let's look at one of these videos and verify that it is indeed the lecture that I gave on March 30th. So I'm going to right click on the video and I'm going to say open with VLC Media Player. Windows Media Player would work as well, but VLC I find is a little bit faster and easier to look at your video. When I do that, I see, oh, there's part of my information. I'm going to pause that. Um, and I can quickly kind of scan through that and say, yep, that was definitely the lecture that I gave in class. Notice that over here is the main screen, and if I had the camera on, it would have appeared right there. So I'm like, I believe that this is the right video, and we are now going to upload that to YouTube. So I'm going to close that video, and now I'm going to name it. So I'm going to click on the, on the name once. I know that that was a U.S. history video, and that was given on 3.30, and the topic of that particular video was World War II. So I'm going to press Enter, and now I've named that video. So that's always a good thing to do before you go to YouTube. So now I'm going to go down here and open up an Explorer window. Um, let's bring this down a little bit. And on this window, I'm going to type in youtube.com. And I'm going to need to log in to CNCC. Notice that I'm already logged in right now, so there's a good chance you won't be. So I'm going to log out just to show you the process. And I will click sign in. So here, um, that is the username webmaster.cncc at gmail.com. All of the credential information is on the documentation with this video, so please take a look at that in order to get the passwords and usernames. So I'm going to pass in or type in the password and then click sign in. 
Uh, we typically want this first one, call around Northwestern, and we're going to click on the upload button right here to upload our video. So here's my video that we already named right over here, and we are going to just drag it into YouTube. So now it's going to upload that video. Notice it's going to take about four minutes. While that's happening, we're going to change a few settings. The first change is we want to make sure it's unlisted. And the reason why we want it unlisted is that we don't want everybody who goes onto YouTube to be able to see this video. We only want our students, which they will actually be accessing the video through D2L to be able to see the video. So we're going to say unlisted. I'm going to maybe clean up the naming here. So 3-30 US history colon World War II lecture. And when I'm done with that, I can just click done. And then I need to wait for it to actually upload. As it's uploading, um, I usually uh, go do something else. You do need to keep this video or this window open. But other than that, when it is done, you will come back, get the information for the video, and post it into D2L. Our next video will talk about how to get this video into D2L for students to access.